Good day, all. My name is Kauta Vusimuzi. Uh, today we're gonna deal with mathematics, but before that, uh, I would like to greet you all. Sani bonani, dumelang, huedach. Good day, Molweni, and all other language. So, guys, I'm going to help you today to deal with such complex perhaps to some of you such questions they seem to be complex but today i'm gonna simplify everything and let's just all remove that stigma of saying goody maths is difficult maths is so simple it requires you to be not emotional but be a critical when dealing with mathematics equations so guys let's have fun today let's just start without wasting any time I greet you all, Sunny Bonani guys, Molweni guys, Moro, all of you. Uh, <laughs> the first bracket is of 3x minus 1, close bracket, the second bracket is x minus 4 equals 16. So then on the on your right hand side, just in J, it says correct to two decimal places. Guys, this statement is so important. You need to consider this statement because if you don't consider this statement, you're gonna sweat. If you know if you if, if, if you're gonna apply other steps without uh, applying those ones that your teachers have taught you perhaps a quartet equation if I may say so uh, guys let's just start without wasting any time so in this case gonna apply foil you, you you I know some of you don't know it but foil it's a it's it's a it's a strategy that you use when multiplying out brackets or when you're simplifying all out all brackets all right so let's just collapse these brackets let's apply foil for remember you're gonna uh, make sure that math is simple you're gonna apply simple steps simple logical steps in case, so that you can understand everything that you are doing so 3x is going to multiply x 3x is going to multiply negative 4 negative 1 is going to multiply x negative one again is going to multiply, multiply negative four then you are done guys add like terms you collect them then you simplify so guys 3x by x is going to be 3x squared 3x by negative four is going to be negative 12 x the negative one by x is going to be negative x the negative one times negative four is positive four guys i do not need to teach you basics of science adding whatever and multiplying whatever the coefficients no those are basics you need to learn them before you can come here those are basics i'm not here to teach you such basics i need to start how to simplify what and what and what so guys those are basics and you need to know them before attempting to uh, simplify such equations so let's add like terms and group them x squared doesn't have like terms x and x are like terms 4 and 4 4 and 16 are constants you need to add constants and it so it's gonna be 3x squared you leave, you, you you bring it down then minus 13x where does it comes from negative 12 minus 1 because x and x are uh, like terms hence i i've added 12 negative 12 and negative 1 okay then this 16 i'm gonna transpose it to the left side Basically, it's going to change the sign from positive to negative. 4 minus 16 is negative. 12 equal 0. This is what you need, guys. Before you can apply quadratic equation, you need to make sure you on your right-hand side or on this side, there's 0. Meaning, 0 is left on, on the other side on itself. And it, this is what you need before you can apply anything or any formula you have been taught by your teacher. Uh, right now, some of you can open brackets, but there are no factors, guys. So if there are no factors, you, you, come, you must come to this statement of correct to two decimal places, guys. Wherever there are no factors, just apply quadratic equation. If you or any formula that your teacher have taught you guys, apply it when there are no factors of this quadratic equation. But let's apply quadratic to save time. For sure, it's good to you. You're gonna get it all right now. So let's apply quadratic equation. So it's gonna be x equal negative b 
plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a guys perhaps you are familiar with this equation of quadratic you know that whenever you see a you're gonna put this coefficient positive 3 whenever you see b you're gonna put negative 13 whenever you see c you're gonna put negative remember the basic formula of quadratic is gonna be it's 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 a uh, a squared plus bx perhaps plus c equal zero this is the basic function of quadratic or parabola function get your three so a then your negative 13 is b then your c is negative 12 you're gonna substitute on this equation then it's gonna be simple for you let's just start b it's negative 13 again negative minus of b you put it on the other side and open a bracket then negative 13 inside the bracket negative as case 13 close bracket plus or minus square root of b it's negative 13 squared minus 4 here on it's 3 then c our c it's it's negative negative 12 then you close the bracket all of this we are going to divide it by 2 multiplied by our a is 3 you understand guys then now you can uh, consult your oblongata or you can go straight to your calculator if you don't have calculator just apply your basic uh, thinking your basic math thinking yeah, guys so it's, it's just simple math don't panic because if you tata zela or math uzo tata zela now guys so if you don't have a calculator just i'm going to show you how to apply it with your with the use of your mental thinking so guys uh remember we still have x here x then let's simplify so negative by negative is positive 13 plus or minus let's just consult our calculator for whatever that is in the square root to save time and get negative 30 on the calculator squared minus 4 multiplied by 3 multiplied by minus 12 then the value inside the the, the square root is 313 all over 2 times 3 is 6 then x now is equal to remember guys there is positive and negative here meaning there are two critical values of x meaning on a calculator you're gonna say on a calculator you're gonna say uh, 13 13 it's either gonna start with plus or minus it's your choice but you need to have two solutions of this equation so let's start with plus 13 plus square root of 3 13 divided by 6 the answer is gonna be five comma one two remember two decimal places and here or your x is going to be equal to positive 13 again remember last time you utilized positive now right now gonna use minus guys 13 minus square root of three one three divided by six then the answer right now is gonna be a negative 0 comma 70 and then perhaps you are done if you're not sure about your values just substitute them on the real equation your answer should be 16 if it does not give you 6 that means your values are wrong yeah? so guys thank you for your time just click the subscription button we we'll get more content as time goes on so next time we're gonna start with calculus topic uh, in mathematics then break it down into simpler forms uh, thank you from uvusumzi kauta i love you all guys isolate africa